Hey, um, yeah, I've, like I said in my previous videos, I have said that I, I wanted to try and start my YouTube channel, and so this is me starting. <laughs> so, yeah, for this video in particular, I just thought, you know, I might as well just get a head start and start with my record collection. So, instead of rushing to do all of my big LPs, my the main albums, I thought I'll just stick to doing you know, the little ones, the seven inch singles as it were, since I haven't got many of them and since I collect so many records anyway, I just thought I'd start with with the less. So um so with so before I do that though, I'm I pretty much started collecting records since last year, Christmas. You know, I just I just found it all fascinating just to go back to, you know, the old generation of, of where music was king on vinyl. You know, I still think it sounds better on vinyl. So I, I, I just I'm glad I'm glad I'm part of that community of just collecting records and it, it's great fun you know it's 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 great so um but yeah anyway this is my record player and you know it's it's great for what I use it for you know so no problems there so let's make a start and see what I've got in my seven inches so first one is okay yeah i got this um roundabout when prince died okay so and i didn't know much about prince at the time when he died so i was like but it, it gave me you know thinking about you know oh i wonder what songs he does so uh this is prince 1999 so yeah this is a very popular song of his and it, it what i like about it is it just it's one of those songs that you could just get up to, you know, it, it's just, it's so good, and it's, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's print, so, yeah. Uh, next one is Queen, We Are The Champions, and We Will Rock You. I mean, it's Queen, I mean, come on, you must be living under a rock not to know the songs, and Queen, you know, I mean, Queen are one of the biggest rock bands, so... Yeah, I got this because, well, I like the song, so, you know, and, and this, I mean, this picture, I mean, this, this art, cover art, I mean, it reminds me of that Family Guy episode, <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, but yeah, great, great, great song, and moving on to some 80s, most of this is 80s anyway, uh, since, because like I said, the, oh, I mean, I buy pretty much the older stuff at the moment because the older stuff is cheaper. You know, I mean, buying all the newer stuff, if you go to H&V, Urban Outfitters, records and singles, all these sort of things, the newer stuff that they've started to bring out because the vinyl community has pretty much come back now. Vinyl has come back, which is great, you know. But all these new remastering and stuff of, of new records and even the old records, they remaster them, re reissuing them. It's just all expensive, you know, if you don't have that much money. So then for, you just go to a charity shop or something, you get these, and they're like one one to three pounds, so pff, might as well. But, yeah, so so with my singles I've got, with this one it is Ghostbusters 2. Uh, Bobby Brown, who married Whitney Houston. <laughs> um, so this is on her own. Um... I know, I just, I mean, because I like Bobby Brown, but, like, I felt like this song, um, I, I just thought he did it well. I mean, it just fits Bobby Brown, and it, it just, I found it funky. It, you know, as a Ghostbusters track on the soundtrack. So, I mean, if you like Ghostbusters, just, just give it a listen, you know. I mean, nothing wrong with that. So, next I have... Okay, this one, um... I'm not, I mean, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan or anything like that, but I, I just bought it because I was watching, like, so, something uh, on the TV, and this song came up, and I kind of liked it, and, but it's basically Elton John, um, Yellow, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, don't know, I don't know if you know that, but, um, I think it's, I think it's one of his, one of his popular ones, or most known ones as well, because I think it, it, it the, the album of that same name is meant to be really, um, really good. So, but I just enjoyed the single, and of course, I thought it was, it was, it was a great. It had a great his voice. His voice was great in it. So, uh, oh, 
Now this this is a this is a classic one I'd say. I mean in terms of eighties music. This is UB forty Red Red Wine. And I mean for those who don't know that, I mean you've gotta know Red Red Wine. I mean it's gotta be in clubs and stuff. That's that's the only way you must hear it and on the car. So you know, I mean this this song is is a is a real good eighties jam. Um Oh, okay. Um, this one is I got this quite recently actually. I got this in Cheltenham, so this was in some charity shop. So this is Bronski Beat Small Town Boy. So um, yeah, this is a very um, interesting. You might actually recognise it. I mean, you might the name of it might not sound familiar to you, but um, it's actually a good a good eighties song. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, just check it out. You know, you never know what what you might like. Um, okay, these two these two singles are pretty much Madonna singles. You know, um, so I got like a prayer and like a virgin. So, um, well, like a virgin, I got just on the fact that this reminded me of when I had Sing Star, <laughs> and I used to play this a lot, and it was just funny. <laughs> So yeah, and and like a prayer, I just got it because I just found um, it quite catchy in a way. Um, okay, so this is my last twelve, uh, my last seven-inch single, which is T Rex, Mark Berlin. He died quite suddenly in the seven late late seventies. Um, so I got this because of Children of the Revolution, which is a really good uh, song of Mark Berlin T Rex. So. It's a really good song and it's one of my favourites based on, I knew it based on the whole uh, Billy Elliot film, not the musical but the film and I just, I'm, they play a lot of the old school like songs on there so that you'll find like The Jam or T-Rex on it so I was like, this song came on and I was like, oh, I know this song, you know, it just, it, it just had some sort of nostalgia, it felt like it was something I already knew and I remembered it and it was, yeah, so I, I got into T-Rex, one of my favourite artists definitely check him out i'd recommend you look up rider white swan by t-rex it's a really good song so i'll move on to my 12 inch singles so i mean this is a classic 90s one but this is technotronic pump up the jam for those who don't know pump pump the jam it's that's that sort of song so yeah this was really i mean i got this for like 199p uh the charity shop, really good, classic, classic song. Next is one of my is a well, it's a Madonna single, but it's Into the Groove, which is from the film Desperately Seeking Susan, which featured Madonna. So I think this is one of the songs from the soundtrack of it. But I just know I just liked it because I just feel like Madonna. She just does her own thing. You know, she just does her own thing. She's she's just there and she just does it, and it's you know respect for her you know? um, but not to say that I'm a huge Madonna fan or you know just because I find Madonna mm, she's yes and a no for me you know it's just like not saying every song of hers I like it's just there are certain songs I find that she can that that are just really good you know but just yeah <laughs> but anyway yeah I've got this one is uh, T2 Heartbroken, this is like a 2007 single, you might recognise it when it came out, like Heartbroken, so um, yeah this is great, I've been, I've been looking everywhere for this, I'm so glad I found it, because it's just like, uh, you know, when if you collect records, you know, when you find that one, that single or the LP that you want and you find it, you're like, oh thank god, <laughs> you found it, you know, you just, relief, so yeah, and then my last one is Bronsky Beat Why. Tell me why. So yeah, this is a sorry for sorry. <laughs> I can't sing. But yeah, this um this is a really good eighties eighties song and um because most of most of these songs I pretty much get from my parents and that so it's pretty much an influence for me to get into songs from what your parents listen to. It's it's just nice, you know. Um but that's pretty much it for my singles and so for you know, for more videos and stuff that I'm gonna go and do later on, I'm gonna probably do my cassette tape collection. I've got my my big vinyl collection, my LP, the main big ones. Um, 
and yeah, probably give just a bit more talk about him. And also, um, I'm thinking of doing more of my dance videos. I posted a dance video that I did earlier on. Um, if you've not seen that, check it out if you want. So yeah, so there's that. And then I might be talking more about my maybe my art and trying to work out where I want, where I want my art to go towards, you know, since I'm doing a course on illustration. So, but yeah, you know, just um, thanks for taking the time to watch my video. You know, I'm, 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 a, I'm very new to the whole YouTube thing, but I just, it, it's just good to kind of just get out there and get known for a bit, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, stay tuned.